Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make diamond painting videos here on this channel. And today I am doing part two for my May diamond painting haul video. Um, if you guys have not seen part one or yesterday's video, I recommend going and checking that out. Um, you definitely don't have to do it before this video is over. You can do it whenever. Um, but in that first part, I unboxed four brand new diamond art club kits for the month, um, and it, those were really fun to unbox. And in today's video, we are doing three Dreamer Designs kit. One of them being a New release and then a restocked Diamond Art Club kit and I just figured I would split this haul into two parts make it like a little bit shorter for each part um, I finished editing the video yesterday that went up yesterday for you guys um, and it was 40 minutes so I have a feeling today's video will probably be very similar length um, but I wanted to split it up make it a little easier for you guys um, and yeah, like I said, today we'll be doing three Dreamer designs, one Diamond Art Club. Um, we are starting with Loneliest Night. This is by Ivan Valakovic. I'm not able to show you guys like the little thumbnail on the box because the way my camera's set up, um, I wouldn't be able to show you guys. But we're going to go ahead and jump into this first box here first. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get right on into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and break into this box. Um, I'm going to do the same kind of thing that I did in yesterday's video for you guys today. Um, we'll go through the Dreamer Designs Toolkit a little bit more in depth. Um, I can't even get this box open. <laughs> a little bit more in depth um, in this first box and then, you know, not for the other two. But why? Oh my god. They packaged that really tightly. That was, that was really tight. It's been a while since I've opened a Dreamer Designs box. I've worked on one Dreamer Designs kit. Um, and I haven't unboxed any of my other ones I have, so anyways, okay. So Dreamer Designs is fun because they have their packaging a little bit differently. They have their um, kits, they come in a branded little dust cover and it has Dreamer Designs here at the end. Um, and yeah, it's like, it's a nice, it's a really nice little dust cover actually. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And then the uh, kit comes wrapped up in a little, a little bow. Okay, there's nothing else in that bag, so let me go ahead, undo this little ribbon here. Did I call it a bow? A ribbon, a bow, whatever. Um, I'm messing it up. It looks so nice. I'm messing it up. Okay, let's go ahead and get this canvas rolled. I'm trying to figure out which way this goes, but it definitely goes... Does it go this way? I feel like it must go this way. You guys, these canvases, I feel like, are pretty soft. Ooh. Also, I'm love. Okay, this is really pretty. Um, okay, this is. It comes a little different packaging wise than Diamond Art Club does. Um, but let me show you guys. So there is a toolkit right here that we will look at, um, and then it has you know the two bags of drills. Um, and then we have similar diamond painting instructions right here that I will just go ahead and throw away. Um, put that there for now. And then we have the sticker sheet right here, but I'm gonna go ahead quick and actually roll this canvas backwards, um, literally just taking it and flipping it and rolling it backwards um, to help it lay flatter so you guys can see the canvas a little bit more. Um, okay, you can do this with any poured glue canvas, which is what Dreamer Designs uses, so no harm in doing this, but I'm just going ahead and giving it a massage. I laughed at myself when I was editing that video back yesterday because I just kept saying massage every time. Oh no, it's upside down again. Uh, or was it? Wait, is it? No, it's not. Uh, yeah, it is. Why am I so confused? Okay. This canvas is just chock full of like sky. That was definitely confused. Um, but also you guys, wow, this canvas is gorgeous. Let me go ahead and lift up just the camera a little bit so you guys can see just how pretty this is. Ooh, give you guys a quick little pan. Oh yeah, this is a good looking canvas. Ooh, and it's a ton, a ton of confetti. This is a very confetti heavy canvas, um, which totally, totally fine by me. I like confetti. Um, I, yeah, I'm really excited. I haven't opened a Dreamer Designs in a really long time. But let me actually go ahead and show you guys what is in the toolkit here. It comes in this nice little cloth bag. Um, like I said, this will be the only toolkit I actually go through because the other ones are exactly the same in the other Dreamer Designs kits. But I will go through the Diamond Art Club toolkit with that last one with you guys. Um, but in Dreamer Designs' toolkits, this is what you get. Okay, let me grab it all out. Okay, you get a bag of baggies, always insanely helpful, love having those. Um, you get, you get a pen, actually, so you get two pens, 
and two squishies and one of the pens is like the normal pen this pen is meant for ab's um i believe you can you still put wax in it and you can pick up ab's a lot easier with them also i just want to apologize in advance you guys probably already can hear it i'm doing my my laundry right now and my washer is the loudest thing on the planet but i have nowhere else to film so we're we're just hoping it's not that bad um but yeah we have two pens two squishies we have two different two plates of purple wax which is very similar to pink wax um, a pair of tweezers branded tweezers we love to see that and then you also get um, a couple of multi placers I believe like a three placer and what is this one there is not a number on it so I'm not sure but you get a three placer and another placer um, and then you actually get this cute little straightening tool which is also really fun so some fun stuff in this and then you get a tray and this is a tray divider which is also really cool so you can put this on the end of your tray and like pour two different colors in and then they won't you know mix in together which is really fun if that's something you're into so yeah that's the toolkit that comes in the dreamer designs kits um no fun surprises like diamond art club but it is still a good time to open um god i hope the noise is not too bad but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and put the toolkit away and then we'll go into the rest of the stuff okay so like i said we have uh two bags of drills so i've noticed that with dreamer designs kits the drills come in two two different baggies which honestly is great and makes it really easy um rather than one huge pack of drills. So it's the first one, the second one, very pretty colors. Just looking at the color scheme of this one. So pretty. Ooh, I love this blue a lot. Oh, this canvas is gonna be stunning. I was talking about this yesterday, you guys. Opening kits in advance makes me wanna work on them right away. And then we have this beautiful one as well. Oh my gosh. I love it so much oh so pretty so we have those as our bags of drills and then like I said we also do have a sticker sheet here I love dreamer designs a sticker sheet um, it has pre-cut sticker labels then they have like a little dreamer design sticker the original artwork sticker this is loneliest night like I said I'll give you guys a better look at the original artwork by Ivan Valakovic this is a square drill kit in a 60 by 80 centimeter um, you also have your start and end date and then you have square sticker round sticker like just so many stickers and I love it this kit has 59 colors and um, there are oh my god there's so many ABs one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve ABs okay listen you guys <laughs> There's not a chance we are about to go through finding every single AB on this canvas, but I will try to show you guys some general areas of where you might find some ABs on this canvas because 12 ABs is actually insane. Wow. My goodness, there's a ton of ABs in this kit. Wow, 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 wow. One thing I will say for Dreamer Designs is that they really do not skimp out on the ABs, which is so fabulous. But yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and just take a look at this canvas a little bit and just see if we can find where some of these ab's are gonna go i don't even know what symbols i'm looking for there is just a host of symbols on the side here um wow okay that is incredible so i'm wondering if there are any like in the sky that'll like that stands out to me um hmm you would think maybe there would be okay actually yeah there are some in the sky but uh maybe not a ton you guys this is a lot harder than when i do it for diamond art club i don't know why <laughs> I see some like white ABs at the top. You guys can't even see it. Like some white ABs at the top that are probably like acting like stars. Very pretty, you guys. There's so many, so many ABs. I see the white ABs. Those stick out to me a little bit. Um, holy ABs. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> you guys, I genuinely don't even know. I see some yellow AB here. Um, as if that's supposed to be helpful. Um, wow, this is just chock full of ABs. Ooh, some more um white ab actually in this little window here oh you guys i want to work on this painting this is really really pretty oh my goodness um i'm just laughing at everything about this right now <laughs> i just simply wasn't expecting i was not expecting 12 ab's even though i have said time and time again that diamond that dreamer designs always has an insane amount of ab's charted in their kits I don't know why it's taking me so much by surprise um okay let's try to find some of these other colors maybe you guys, this is incredibly unhelpful, but I hope you're enjoying this anyways. Um, hmm. God, there's just almost so many of them that it's insane and impossible to keep track of. And they're all just like different symbols. Like if it was like maybe one through nine or something like that, I would maybe be able to tell better, but I am on the struggle bus trying to figure this out. Um, hmm. 
they must be here somewhere and you guys there is just so much color on this canvas wow you guys oh my god just look at this I'm kind of really in love with this and I knew I'd love this one when I bought it that's why I bought it I don't think I was expecting to love it as much as I'm currently loving it when I'm looking at it this is this is an incredible incredible canvas we also might have trouble finding ABs and other kits um I'm just trying to see if there are really any other ones. There, there obviously are a bunch of babies in this kit. This kit, and I'm wondering if I can like see if these are like big bags of babies. It's really hard to tell. I see an orange AB in here. Mm. Yeah, I see. Ooh, I see a couple bags of orange ABs. Ooh, and a nice big bag of blue ABs. Yeah, Ooh, you guys. You guys, listen. I think I'm. I'm gonna have to not maybe try to find the ABs on this one. There are just too many of them. Um, but you guys, this canvas is everything. Oh, I love it so much. I don't know if this one is still in stock or not. I kind of think this one was low stock when I purchased it, um, during the month, but, oh, you guys, I love it a ton. Oh, I, I really, really like this one. Mm, okay, we're really off to a good start. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next kit. Okay, moving on to the next kit, we have Dreams Do Come True by Michael David Ward. This is one I have had my eye on for quite a bit. Um, it gives fairy tale storytelling vibes and I love it so much. Um, so I'm really excited. I am just breaking these boxes. That was so unintentional. You guys look at this. <laughs> um, yeah, I've, wow, these boxes, maybe they're just not the best um that's okay so anyways let's go ahead and break into this one i'm very excited about it um like i said this has been one on my radar for a bit and i'm glad i finally picked it up if i can this box is like stuck on the canvas oh no i got it we're good oh that was <laughs> that was a struggle okay let's go ahead and flip this so you guys can see like I said before just the branded dust cover bag this is a really nice dust cover bag I'm gonna be honest this was so much easier to put kids back kits back into than the plastic ones that I get from other companies this one was really nice um, okay let's go ahead open this one up okay <laughs> got some drills peeking out one end um, let's go ahead and undo the ribbon Okay, put this right here. And let's go ahead and unravel this beautiful canvas. Excited to see it. Ooh, you guys, this one is so pretty too. Look at this. Okay, so like I said, we have the toolkit, but I'm gonna go ahead and forgo showing you guys that. If you guys just skipped to this part of the video and you wanna see the toolkit, feel free to go back and check out the um, first kit I unboxed. But um, we have, again, the instructions right here that I will just be tossing. Um, and we have the sticker sheet on this one. So here is a better look at the original artwork. Again, this is Dreams Do Come True by Michael David Ward, an 80 by 60 centimeter. And this one has 63 colors and it looks to have a host of babies again. One, two, one, two three, four, five, six, seven. Oh wait, 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 wait. <laughs> hold on, hold on you guys. Okay, I'm sitting. Um, AB. <laughs> ABs. We have one, two, three, four, five, six ABs. Okay, six ABs. One, two, three that start with LZ, and one that starts with YG. Stand by while I go to Dreamer Designs' website because I think one of those is crystals, and I think the LZ might be crystals, um, but I don't 100% know, and I don't want to get my facts wrong. So give me two seconds while I search for this. Dreams do come true. Um, Okay, yeah, so six ABs, three crystals, yeah, and one glow. Ooh, listen, we might not try to figure out where the AB goes. We might just try to figure out where these crystals and where the um, glow-in-the-dark drill go, because that's where I am curious about. But anyways, we have the sticker sheet right here, and then um, we have one bag of drills right here. Show you guys the color palette a little bit so pretty oh you guys we can see the green crystal in here i don't know if you guys can see um yeah oh my god i love it it's right here that's really pretty okay so we have one bag of drills and then we have the other bag right here oh and i see another bag oh my god you guys it's like a silver crystal <gasps> oh i oh and that might be this is the glow in the dark okay wow i'm so glad we can see part of it so this is one of the crystals uh, let me get it to focus for you guys. We have, 
hopefully it'll go ahead and focus. We have one of the crystals. And then next to it right here, we have the glow in the dark drill. The only thing I worry about with the glow drill is it looks clear. So I'm wondering how it would, oh, you know why? Because the symbol on the sticker sheet actually um, is not like a symbol. It's like a color. Um, hopefully it'll focus. Yeah, if you guys can see, it's not like a symbol. It's literally just a color. Wow. Okay, very intriguing. Let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and roll this one backwards again just to get it to lay a little bit more flat. You guys, I really like this. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> oh man. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get this back up here. And wow, this is so pretty. Okay, I am standing up now, but um, let's go ahead and maybe start over here. What I want to just do quick is try to find the crystals and the glow in the dark drill specifically. And it looks like to begin with, I see a lot of the glow in the dark drill here in this moon. Ooh, you guys, that is going to be so stunning. Wow. Okay, okay, I love it. Um, and then I don't even know what symbols we're looking for for the crystals. Um, okay. Huh. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't. I don't really see any crystals mixed into here. I see some of the red crystal over here, actually. Okay. Um, move this over a bit. Ooh, I love the owl. Such a fun touch. More red crystal over here. Um, I wonder if there are any Gs over here. Yeah, some of the green crystal over here. I betcha. And more of the green crystal over here. I betcha anything. It's all kind of interspersed. Kind of within this painting is what it would make the most sense to me. And I'm wondering if there's any more glow in the dark drill though anywhere. That might be the only spot where the glow drill is just from looking at the canvas, um, is the moon over here, um, which is fair. So, okay, let me go ahead and move this a little bit again so you guys can see more. Let's look at the castle specifically, see if I can find any of the specials or like, I guess just the crystals or the um, glow, but it looks like we have more of the crystals kind of in, oh, oh, you guys can't even see my finger. Um, over here a little bit in this balloon in the middle um looking at the castle specifically it looks like we have some more white crystal over here maybe silver crystal um more crystals in here yeah there are crystals everywhere in this canvas you guys <laughs> you guys if you guys have never listen if you've never purchased from dreamer designs before i think they've made really great upgrades to their kits and um i love how incredible their ABs are um, and how many they put in kits and it looks like these drills look pretty consistent in size and shape from what I can tell I'm just taking a look at my drills they look pretty good um, so listen if you have been on the fence with dreamer designs and I don't know I hope this might inspire you a little bit to try them out um, because I really like them and yeah okay let's take a look here quick Oh my god you know what's so weird is that like when i'm looking at this canvas through the camera i can definitely clearly see what's here but when i'm looking at the canvas like straight on like this it's a lot harder to tell um but the rabbit and the little guy has some crystal in it um yeah i think the glow in the dark drill really was only in the um in the moon um let's see or else this is um some more red crystal over here you guys can't even really see that over here um yeah it's really kind of just interspersed which totally makes sense um hmm yeah you guys wow this canvas is insanely gorgeous uh, i really recommend you guys grab it if um if this one has been on your radar i totally recommend it it's absolutely gorgeous but anyways let's go ahead and move on into the third canvas okay so moving on into the last kit we have paris memories by robert finale this is a 90 by 60 centimeters this is a little bit bigger than the other two um the other two were 80 by 60s so a little bit bigger but i am very excited about this one this is actually a new release from the month um the one <laughs> the one new release that caught my attention that i wanted to grab these boxes, I will admit, are really tightly packaged, I guess. Um, they're quite hard to open. Um, also, sincere apologies for the washer. I don't understand why it literally has to be an obnoxious washer. It's always been like this. And uh, I, it's Monday, it's Memorial Day. It's the time I'm able to film. Um, 
so hopefully it doesn't bother you guys too much but um okay let's go ahead and pull this one out okay that was an easy squeezy pull out um okay put the box right here as per usual dreamer designs and let's get into this one uh, another one i'm really excited to see um okay nicely packaged in the little little ribbon so let's go ahead and take off the ribbon the way i haven't been tying the ribbon back on the other ones i have just been putting the ribbon in the box i'm like maybe i would want this when i do the kit i don't know but it doesn't necessarily need to be tied it's just funny um and it's cute so alrighty, let's go ahead wrong way let's go ahead and flip the canvas oh you guys oh my god oh i love this so much okay <laughs> okay as per usual we have the toolkit not gonna go through this one if this is the only kit you're watching go back to the first kit i'm so sorry if you want to see the toolkit um and then we have all of the normal normal stuff we have um instruction booklet again so we have that and then we have the two um bags of drills which i'll go through in a sec but here we have the sticker sheet again paris memories this is the better look at the original artwork uh, 90 by 60 centimeter more stickers this is 15 58 colors okay and we have uh one two ab's only two ab's one crystal one glow in the dark and it's a yellow glow in the dark Ooh, and i can see where it's going oh that's gonna be fun okay 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 we will try to look for all of these symbols then because there's only four of them makes it a little bit more doable <laughs> um but anyways here are the drill colors we have the first pack here very moody color palette, definitely less colorful in some senses than, I guess, the last kit we looked at, um, last couple we've looked at, but oh, this is so pretty. So we have the first one, and then we have the second one. Just trying to see if there are any specials that I can see. Ooh, I kind of can see um, the yellow glow in the dark, or is that the yellow glow in the dark, or is that a crystal? No, that has to be a crystal. We have the yellow crystal not crystal what am i saying that's i think the glow in the dark michaela <laughs> anyways so yeah we just have the um other set of drills awesome okay i'm gonna go ahead and roll this one back also shout out to the washer finally being done oh my god congrats to those who survived it <laughs> that was loud um but i have a feeling that after i'm done with this kit i'm gonna end up starting it again with the second load so so sorry about it um uh, okay this is having a little bit of trouble rolling backwards. I mentioned this yesterday in my video that sometimes I just have a lot of trouble rolling kits backwards and I genuinely don't think it's ever the kit's fault. I think I am just the problem. I cannot get some of these kits to roll backwards sometimes, um, but they're safe to do so. So yeah, okay. Let's go ahead. This one's a little bit bigger, like I said, than the others. Um, ooh, you guys, all that color blocking in the sky. Like it's a few different shades of the purple colors, but this one is really really pretty wow i really like this one a whole lot look at the eiffel tower um give you guys like a little bit of a better look kind of of a kind of a pan over if you will of this canvas <laughs> it's so hard the bigger these canvases get the harder it is to show you guys but oh i love this so much oh my god i don't know if this one is still in stock i kind of think it might be um but i'm not I'm not certain so so pretty wow okay awesome so as for the special drills we have like an orange ab a green ab um a red crystal and then a yellow glow in the dark drill which right off the bat if you guys can see kind of all of the spots that have like yellow like really bright yellow that is where that yellow glow drill is going to go so it's kind of in the eiffel tower a bit we have it like kind of laced throughout these um lights here and then these buildings over here have some of the yellow glow drills as well that's going to be so pretty oh i love it a lot um i you know i can understand why this kit doesn't have as many specials it definitely doesn't really need it as much as um i don't know i feel like if some of the other ones do but we have more of the yellow glow drill down here um yeah, just a ton of the yellow glow drill wherever you guys see that that yellow color that is where the glow drill is really really pretty this kit looks like it has a fair amount of color blocking so this one might not be too slow of a going piece even though it's kind of big um and then we have the orange ab green ab and a red crystal i'm wondering about that crystal a little bit it looks like we have some of the red crystal like over here in some of these like flowers um 
Hmm. Is it anywhere else though? I kind of don't see that crystal anywhere else. Wow, I wonder if we just have the smallest amount of it. Huh, yeah, I really only see it in these flowers over here. Um, okay, fair enough. Um, and then the orange AB and the green AB. Um, yeah, okay, some of the orange AB, there, if you guys can see, there are some, I don't know if those are like plants. Yeah, I guess those are like flowers. Um, there are some orange ABs kind of laced in here. Um, ooh, super pretty. I really like that a lot. Yeah, some orange AB in there, and then the green AB is the letter H. And, okay, any of the bright green in the plants are ABs. Yeah, I have a feeling that this kit used, very, like, very sparingly used the special drills. So, um, up here we have some green ABs, some green ABs laced up here in these plants, but you guys, very sparingly. This was used really, really sparingly. Huh. Oh, it's so pretty though. Ooh. Awesome. Okay, you guys. Um, I guess I kind of breezed through this kit, but um, let's go ahead and move into the last kit, which is a diamond art club. Okay, you guys, we are on to the fourth and final kit and we are ending with a bang because this one is the biggest one. We have Home is Where the Magic Is by Randall Spangler. You guys, I literally can't even move this any closer to the camera because my window's in the way. <laughs> but this is a 25.6 by 42.1 inch or a 65 by 107 centimeters. So this is the largest one we are unboxing in this video. So ending it off with a bang, but let's go ahead and jump into this one. Um, I will go through the toolkit with you guys since I have not gone through any Diamond Art Club toolkits in this video yet. But anyways, okay, so we have the thick bag. This is so heavy. That is incredibly heavy. Um, but every Diamond Art Club kit comes with a small sticker of the original artwork. And this really is a small sticker with a tiny thumbnail because this is such a big piece of art, but it's gorgeous. So we have that. And then we have the toolkit, which I think Diamond Art Club toolkits are great. They have everything you need to do your diamond painting and more, I feel like. So let's see what we got in this toolkit. Um, so we got, of course, the tray, uh, the tray, what am I saying? Yeah, the tray is right here, but we have a pair of tweezers, um, and these are very, very sharp and pokey, so definitely be careful when you are using these. I have poked myself more times than I like to admit, so we have that, and then it, it comes with a bag of baggies right here, and then it also comes with a pen and a matching squishy. We have a light blue one in this one, which I feel like matches this kit really well. So we have a pen and a matching squishy. And then we have the the tray. I was telling you guys about a tray and a tray stopper. Oh goodness. A tray and a tray stopper. So that's always fun. And then you also get um, a couple of thin plastic multi-placers, a four and a seven placer. Um, and then you also get a plate of, um, actually two plates of pink wax in a heart shape container. And then you get a random cover minder and washi. And this is the pattern on this washi tape. Very, very pretty. Assuming it'll, you know, decide to focus on me. Oh, you guys, it just wants to focus on, um, on the diamond art club thing in the back here. So that's fun. There we go. Oh, kind of. There we go. Okay, very pretty washi. And then we have the cover minder, which I actually got this one uh, yesterday when I was doing a couple of unboxings. So double cover minder. <laughs> Not double cover minder, but duplicate cover minder. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put the toolkit away and then we'll get into the canvas. Okay, so let's go ahead and break into this dust cover right here and pull out the canvas. I will do my best here to show you guys, you know, as much of the canvas as I can, but this is going to be humongous and... I'll do my best, but oh no, and it's the wrong way. Gotta flip it. Okay, you guys. Ooh, you guys. Oh, this canvas is so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, wow. Again, it's huge, also going the long way. So, this is a very long canvas. Um, but, anyways, I am gonna put this stuff to the side for a sec. Also, yeah, there is not a chance I'm taking these drills out of the container. There are so many drills, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing I've been doing with all my other canvases and flipping, rolling this backwards to help it lie a little bit flatter because this one is definitely a little bit, a um, little bit, you know, folded in from sitting in the box for so long. Um, so let's go ahead, rolling it backward, giving it the small little massage and go ahead and put this up here. Hopefully it's the right way. It is perfect. Okay, 
Um, you guys, first of all, let's just, I'm gonna give you guys a quick pan over of this canvas. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I really love the Spangler castles a ton. I think they're a lot of fun to work on. They definitely are a project when you decide to work on them um, just because they are so big, but they are very fun. So, oh, you guys, I'll let you guys look at this little part of the canvas. Um, but every time in our club kit comes with a thank you note from the owner and founder, another thing I will be tossing, so sorry about it. Um, and then you get the the bag of drills holy holy drills you guys let's just let's just take a minute let's just take a minute to appreciate these drills this is huge this is so human <laughs> this is so humongous wow oh you guys this um yeah that's a better look at the color scheme i believe this kit came out um during the big christmas release last year from diamond art club and they came out with like 25 new canvases or whatever this one came out and i wasn't sure if i was gonna pick it up but I decided to because I really do like the Spangler castles. So anyway, so we have a bigger image of the artwork here. Again, Home is Where the Magic Is by Randall Spangler and very pretty original artwork. So pretty, wow. And then um, Square Drill Kit, 65 by 107 centimeter. This kit has 58 colors. Um, anything under the number 150 in Diamond Art Club's code um, is an AB drill. We have one, two, three of those, and then anything with a letter in front of it is a fairy dust, or not always a fairy dust, it's a special drill, this is a fairy dust. Looks like we have one fairy dust. So we have one fairy dust, three AEBs. Um, let's go ahead quickly, start at the bottom here and see if we can point out any of the special drills. Um, it looks like we have a very light blue, a light greenish yellow AB, and then a white AB and then the green fairy dust. So hopefully this won't be too bad. There's only four special drills. It shouldn't be too hard, right? Um, especially because the ABs are numbered. Um, so it shouldn't be too hard. But right off the bat, I am noticing in the snow here, um, some of that yellowish greenish um, AB and then some of the bluish AB. I'm wondering if that's gonna be in a lot of the snow. Like the bluish AB, I feel like that would make the most sense. So we have some of that there. Um, oh my god, you guys, a little, a little draggling is just chilling right here. So cute. Um, let's see. We have more of, like, the bluish uh, AB over here. Um, and let's see. Yeah, so in the tree on the side here, I can already tell there is some, not a ton, but there are some both of the light blue AB and the yellowish greenish AB mixed into the tree, which is really nice. So we have some of that and then moving on into more of the middle of the canvas here. Um, let's see. Okay, we have some of the green fairy dust over here in the center of this, you know, window here. Uh, I guess in some of the centers of the windows we have some of the green fairy dust that's really pretty. Um, we have some of the yellowish AB in the windows as well, probably giving off some light. Really pretty. Um, I have a feeling this might not be chock full of special drills. Like it's sporadic throughout the canvas, but like there aren't many of them necessarily. And then we have some um, more of the AB here, the ones over here. You know, have we run across any of the dot? Oh, we had some of the dot down here on the canvas a little bit, but I'm wondering if we'll have more up top. Um, so we have, you know, some more ones here. Yeah, we have a lot of ones just kind of highlighting a bunch of stuff on this canvas, I feel like. And then moving into, I guess, this part of the canvas, we have, okay, we have some of the dot, which is the white AB over here, kind of by this. What is this? Is this a fairy? Is this a fairy? What is this? Yeah, okay, it's a fairy. It's a fairy. Uh, kind of, you know, having on the fairy, I guess. Um, very pretty. Got a lot of color blocking up in the sky as well, which is kind of fun. Um, we have more of the white AB over here. We have, okay, we have some of the yellow AB a little bit in the um, moon up here. Also, if, you know, this canvas is something you want to see more in depth with, like, the drills and everything, I recommend checking out whoever did the sneak peek for this kit. I don't remember who it was. It was a while ago, but um, I recommend checking out their video if you want a more in-depth look in everything. Um, I'm kind of just giving the basic of the basics, but, um, yeah, we have more of the white AB here and some of the light blue AB over here. Very sporadic, but very pretty, and, okay, and then more of the green fairy dust over here. Not a ton of specials from what I can tell on this canvas. I feel like this was a very, like, they used it very sparingly. 
Um, but, okay, I'm gonna show you guys like the beautiful door. Um, I feel like they used a lot of special drills very sparingly in this kit specifically, but I feel like it does, it's gonna very much like highlight and do a good job. I'm just trying to see. Yeah, that was definitely a yellowish AB. Okay, I misspoke about it being green. Definitely a yellowish AB just looking at the drills. Um, so, and yeah, light blue AB. Very, very pretty. Ooh, and I think I see the fairy dust as well, but it doesn't look like a very big bag at all of them. So that totally makes sense. But yeah, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end off this video here. It's currently 3.30. And even though I went to Olive Garden today for lunch, um, I am hungry again. So I will be partaking in the food I did not eat because I've got full off soup. Um, I'm gonna go steal some of my chicken Alfredo from the fridge. And then I'm gonna sit down and edit this video because I feel like it's gonna be a beast. But anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching this haul video, this two part haul video. I thoroughly enjoyed doing this and going through the kits with you guys. Um, um, I don't really normally do things like this and I don't know if I'm gonna do one for June or not but if you guys want one for June let me know in the comments I'm hoping to buy less in June um, I plan on doing a Jada gem shop haul separately because um, I'm gonna be getting an order in from them very soon but anyways you guys thank you so much for watching this haul video today I really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already and I will catch you in my next video bye guys